Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today, uh, some of you guys requested to make I me mean, to make a how to update your AT and T G nine twenty A via ADB. So you can see here G nine twenty A here six. So some of you guys asked me how to uh, how do you update it to your phone to no good, and I will show you guys how to in complete detail because there's actually a new update. Uh, I got a. What is it called this this the February security patch level so it's a new March level of security patch and I'm gonna install it to you guys and show you guys how to do it all right let's go to the video okay so the first link you're gonna go is the uh, AT&T GLC S6 latest promo thread so this thread is basically all your one-stop shop for your updates or maybe you guys are on Lollipop I will put the link description so you guys update from Lollipop to Marshmallow and step by step by step because you can see you guys can see right here there's a lot of versions right there a lot of versions so so how do you guys know what version you want what this is all this is baseband version so what how do you guys know which best band you're on it's basically go to settings and about device and it will see your baseband version mine is the latest one which is QB8 so sample you guys on Lollipop, you guys can immediately update to no good. Okay, so you guys have to do a step by step here. PJ1 to PK1, and then PK1 to PK3, PK3 to PK5, and then PK5, you go to update to no good. It is a little bit complicated by this AT&T crap, but hey, you guys, you guys have to do it. So, you guys, and then you guys, if you guys know what what version you are, what baseband you are, just click on one of these. So mine is the latest one. Go to the Google Drive link. And click this little download button, and we'll download the uh, the tool. I don't get it to download the ROM. Now, next thing you're gonna do is to download this ADB. So, I'll put the link in the description to download this ADB. And uh, also, the install process is all in the thread. All right, so you guys don't have to ask me. Okay. Now, every time you update your phone, okay, maybe you guys know this, or maybe you guys don't. If you guys update your phone via ADB or this AT&T phone. Every time you update, the data will be gone. So as you can see here, I get all my apps here, my launcher, you know, the, the, the setup that I want to. Now, you guys do not want to lose, to lose these, are you? Of course not. So that's why there's an app, it's called Smart Switch. So Smart, so Smart Switch will back up every single thing. Not really every single thing on your phone, but it will back up most of the stuff. Now, why did I say that? Because it will not back up your app data. For, so for example here, my line chat here so as you can see when i open it you get this black theme and it, it, it's come up with a password pad and example so i go to a game example so a game here i will get the my my places you know my high school here and there it will not back up all those app data now I do have a solution for app data backup, but I will not back up most stuff. So we'll basically like back up game. So it is called Helium. So you just gotta download it in the Play Store. It's called Helium, Helium, Helium. Okay, and then it will already enable. So basically, one it just have to be connected to your computer. So you just have to download this little program, and it will enable Helium on your computer. Now, once you're on Helium. You guys gotta go scroll this little thing down, find the application that you want. But again, I mostly recommend this just for games because for like other stuff, it might work. So just give it a try, but it might not work. So I wanna back up this little game here. And all I have to do is click backup and go to internal storage. Now don't worry, we will wipe this internal storage later on, but we will do find a way to get it back. So go to internal storage and let it do its thing. There you go, we set the backup will complete it and then just click OK. Now the next thing, just for a little safety, just download a state life app. I do have Wakey here, so in case you know the screen goes off and there's something wrong with the backup and it will like corrupt it. So you guys do not want to do that, okay? So just skip it on the state life app, just let it stay turn on and just do your backup. Okay, now once all of those app data backup is complete, plug your phone again to the Smart Switch application. Again, links to download the Smart Switch in the description. Click on Backup, and it will try to do back it up. Now we'll get a prompt on your phone. Just click Allow, 
and then let the backup do what it's supposed to do and I'll be right back now while we're waiting for the backup this right there as you can see it's still going up now copy the ROM file you just got downloaded presumably from your downloads folder and then copy it to the C drive and then to the ADV folder just copy it right there okay so once you're done with your smart switch backup just close it up our smart switch now if you use the helium backup that I told you guys earlier and you guys don't retrieve that data if you guys don't use helium then just skip this little part just go to your file manager go to your phone directory your phone storage find the carbon folder and here it is the app data backup I just, uh, uh, that I just backed up all right so I'm gonna go and copy it to your desktop so copy okay let's copy it and then we're good to go now you just have to restart the phone so we're gonna unplug the phone real for a moment we're gonna turn it off fingerprints Okay, now and then we're gonna press the power button, the volume up, and the home button at the same time. So three, two, one, and then let go once you see the Galaxy S6 text, and then just plug your phone back. Now in the computer, we're gonna go to command prompt. We're gonna type in cd. And go to the file directory again. Go to C drive, ADB. Go to the status bar here and just copy this little directory so you guys make your life a little easier. Go there, go to your phone here for a minute until this guy's loaded. Any day now. Any day now. Okay, now let's see here. To control it, you guys have to use the volume buttons anyway and the power button to select it. Okay, so we're gonna go to apply update from ADB. Press the power button, and you can see that it will connect as an ADB device. Now type in the command prompt ADB devices just to make sure that the device is actually connected. It is. Now go to here again and just rename the file. Just click rename and then just copy the file name as it is. So don't make any changes. Just will make our life easier. And then in here. I'll just click this little thing type in adb side load and then the file name and then click enter and it just does not work okay hold on so we're gonna go to adb devices again to make sure it's connected it is connected so adb side nope i cannot type today wow side load that okay there you go it actually works <laughs> okay so i'll be back in a few once this is finished. Okay, now the phone is going to reset up as the new phone. Now, 
just a quick little tip for me. You know, I there's gonna be a new app. It's called Samsung Cloud, and it will basically back up every single thing on your gallery. It doesn't give a crap if it on your data or your wi on or on your Wi-Fi. So, just for my advice, in case you guys don't want to kill your data, right on the setup screen, just take off your SIM card because I don't want to waste any more data on that crappy little service. All right, that thing just take my data last time. It's not gonna happen again. But again, as you can see here, unlocking still work because they got LTE. But I don't want to use Samsung Cloud, and so I'm just gonna take out my SIM. You guys don't have to do this anyway. I just it's just my I just want to do this, okay? Listen, restart your phone. And by the way, the new jingle is actually a little bit louder on the newer build. So let me get you guys a little bit of the what it sounds like because I don't think you guys can heard the new jingle on my last video. So let's let let me be quiet. Yeah, there's the uh, new jingle. I don't know. Maybe the setup screen will work without SIM card. Hopefully it is. And the uh, restoring process. This is just me again. You guys don't have to do this, but I don't want to use that Samsung Cloud crap because it will take your data, and it's not good. Okay, it's not good. Okay, I want my data. Okay, now I'm just gonna stop the phone and I'll be right back with you guys real quick. Okay, there you guys go. Your phone is successfully updated. Let me turn on this brightness and let me show you, show you guys that it is actually updated. Oopsie doopsie. And you can see here the newer build. You can see there G920 UCU EQC9. Okay, we got on the March security level, patch level two. And looks like there is nothing new except the louder jingle. Maybe, maybe. Oops, sorry. Maybe. Let me see. Oh. So in the last build, the February patch, this guy, the reorder button has changed to, to edit. Now they got back to the reorder buttons. Okay. So that's interesting. I will get back to the uh, how-to video a little bit. I just want to see what's new in this build. So display, we still do not have the uh, always on display, which is, <laughs> we already know why. Let's see, anything in here? No. Okay, so I think those two stuff are the uh, something that's new. So I will look at it a little bit more. But right now, I'm just gonna <clears throat> I'm just gonna plug my phone back here, and we gotta restore the phone to the last backup that we gotta do it. Okay, with our phone has been successfully updated and set up as a new phone, we're just gonna go to Smart Switch again, and then we're gonna restore the phone back to the last backup so click restore just just shut up just make sure the date in here is correct and make sure to enable stay alive so we're just gonna go to display and there was not that what is it i'll do this screen timeout just take it 10 minutes just in case something goes bad and just restore now okay now i'll be back wow wow okay now, maybe, just maybe, some of you guys wondering why I hate Samsung Cloud so much. Well, I saw you guys in the last video with the hands-on. It ate it, it, the shit of my data. It ate 1.3 gigabyte. Whether I never noticed it when I fell asleep. It just, it just took 1.3 gigabyte data for me, for nothing. Two, the photo that accidentally backed up to this Samsung Cloud stuff, you can't delete it. You cannot delete it. So, example, I just uh, I found out some you know some pictures in my gallery. I want to I want to delete it, but I cannot because it's already on the Samsung Cloud, and I can't delete the photo, which is so so annoying. And that's why I just I just hate Samsung Cloud so much. Why does it have to be that annoying? Okay, so your phone has been successfully updated and restored. It's here on my icons and widgets. I have just to disable this little icon background. Now, of course, you guys, your phone already updated now. If you guys want to be like me, disable that Samsung switch and also disable this other AT&T crap. Let's disable this Samsung switch first. Um, 
So, what are you? What are you? Where are you, Samsung Switch? Where is it? Where is it? I might missed it. Hopefully not. Ah, Samsung Cloud. Oh boy, disable. Okay, now I'm gonna disable some of those AT&T stuff. But as you guys can see here, all my app is still there. And as you can see here, all app data is not restored. So you can see here, it will get back to you just like install it. So it's gonna set. That's why I pick up all your data first. And yeah, as you can see here, some. Okay, guys, quick little change of camera. I'm using the iPhone 4. For some reason, this camera I cannot focus. It only changed exposure. I don't know why. I think I broke it. But yeah, this is what happened to the iPod. Cannot record video. This is that is not enough available storage to record video. That's why don't buy 16 gigabyte iOS device. But as you guys can see, here, some settings are still not safe, like the layout here, the, the uh, LED lights, and the touch key light. But again, app the application still safe. Folders, you know, your layout basically safe, your wallpaper, and this and that. Okay, so that is how to update your phone, your AT&T Samsung Galaxy S6 G920A to either newer version of Marshmallow, maybe for you guys, or maybe to Nougat, or Nougat. Okay, thank you guys for watching this video, and I will catch you guys in the next video, and of course, not gonna use this camera again. Peace out.